we are on a journey. Well, when I say we're on a journey, yeah, we're on a five-week journey, but the journey doesn't stop here. For you personally, it will continue and it'll take you into your destiny. My friends, this is really heavy on my heart and I need to share this as a word of the Lord to you. Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 10. Behold, I have put my word in your mouth. See, I have this day set you. Let's stop there. I'm going to continue reading, but please note it was talking to Jeremiah. The Lord was talking to Jeremiah. And then I'm going to pick this up again because God wants to speak to you. So let's, let's do it like this. Hey, Jeremiah. God speaking to Jeremiah. Hey, Jeremiah. Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have, set, I have this day set you over the nations and over kingdoms. Okay, now, now that's not to all of us. That same scripture can apply to some of us, maybe to you. But this is what I do know. That God has established each one of us in a boundary place. Your boundary is not my boundary. My boundary is not your boundary. You need to know the boundary lines that God has given to you. Don't impose your boundary upon another. And don't take on another person's boundaries. Ask the Lord, what is it that he's given to you, that he's set you over? So let's read this personally for you. Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Did you get that? His word is already established in your mouth. Don't stress and say, God, I don't have your word. He's already put it there. The secret is, become the great explorer. Wait on the Lord. Press into God and the Lord will reveal to you. He might show you a picture. He might show you like a vision, like a, like a little movie clip. God might, might say, my daughter, my son, I want to speak to you and nothing further comes. Just wait because it will come. The word of the Lord will come to you. And then this is what he says next. See. I have this day, this day, not tomorrow, this day, today, set you. That means, the word set means he's established you. He's put you onto a solid foundation. And the Lord has given to you an assignment to do. The assignment is different for each of us. Now, I believe that, that we all have keys I love this. I was given I was given this key and I hang it I hang it like that over my over my book my bookshelf um, my cabinet because it makes me think of the key that I've been given. The word of the Lord to you is I have given to you keys of the kingdom. The key that the Father has given to you is love, joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. You might say, Mark, I really need to explore this. Well, my friend, the peace of Christ passes all understanding. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Righteousness is not what you do, it is who you are. And you are covered, and you are oozing with the love of God. Now, there it is, there it's there. Pick up your mobile phone, scroll through your address list and say, Father God, use me this day and go to a random name. Press that name and go onto the messages and press that little microphone recording button and say, Hi, my friend, and start praying for that person. You will be blessed. Stir up that gift that's in you. The Lord has set you this day. And he's, God's given to you a great, a great database. Exercise your gift. Stretch yourself. 
Put yourself into a position where you bless someone. Remember this. Please remember this. The prophetic word is there to encourage and it is there to build up. We have no right to go in to another person's territory and break them down. Or get them to change direction into what we think should be their direction. Did you get that? I know you did. I'm praying that the Lord will use you to build up and encourage, not to impose your thoughts on another person. Go and wait on the Lord. Hey guys, I really pray that you're enjoying the course that we're doing, School of the Prophets. I have this book here. Oh, let's get it closer. There we go. Uh, and it covers, it covers everything. If you guys want a copy, I can PDF you a copy. I need to know this, please. But I want to encourage you. Sow where you want to grow. Sow where you want to grow. If you want to grow in that field, go sow seed in that field. But if you want to grow in this field, then sow seed in this field. I'm not asking you to give to me, but I'm asking you to sow seed. Because as you sow seed you will reap a harvest. Now please know this. The greatest seed that you can sow is into the field in your own heart. You say, okay, how do I do that? Wait on the Lord. The more you wait on the Lord, the more your seed will grow within. I have to do this. I regularly have to pull back, wait on God and sow seed in this time, you say, okay, what seed? Seeds of worship. Seeds of waiting on the Lord. And as I wait on the Lord, He renews my strength. And He reveals to me secrets of the kingdom. I bless you. And I look forward to you being with us in the next session. God bless. The now word of God will do three things for you. One, it will bring your destiny to you. Two, it will bring maturity to your identity. And three, it will give you a passion for the presence of God. Get hungry for God.